Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and in front of us we've got the new Uniden Bearcat 680. Uh, this is a 40 channel CB radio, AM only. Uh, Uniden's come out with a whole new line of radios this winter, and uh, they're going to have a couple of different AM radios as well as a sideband model that's slated to come out a little bit later in the year. So uh, we're going to show you through this new uh, unit in 680. It's a very small, compact radio, about 6 inches by 6 inches, uh, almost square in dimensions. Once again, very small in size, so it'll work in a lot of installs. The styling is definitely newer. Uh, looks to be more like what you'd have in a newer type uh, auto, so it might fit better than some of the older style radios. They've uh, cleaned up the face a bit, so not a whole lot in terms of knobs. They can have uh, one dual control pot here, one over here. Let's turn on the radio and we'll get started on going through this. So over here on the left hand side, we do have the volume and on off control. So it uh, adjusts your volume level and also turns the radio on or off. You've got a dual control pot and this is a squelch on the outside. Uh, squelch is kind of a plastic knob. This one's a little bit more of a metal style uh, plastic knob. Over here on the right hand side, we've got our channel changing control. And uh, it has very solid engagement, so I know uh, some of the radios lately with the newer style uh, electronic switch uh, frequency knobs here, uh, this one definitely seems like it has a very solid engagement. It doesn't miss any channels as you're going through, so I like the engagement on the control knob. Digital display, all new on this radio. We've got an RX. Uh, when we go into transmit mode, you'll see the TX come up here. It's got the large... Uh, channel display for the numbers microphone high and if we press this high low button down here it goes to microphone low radio doesn't have a microphone gain control uh, variable control but it has a high and low uh, setting so you can set the microphone gain to low if you have a lot of background noise or you're just trying not to blast away or you can set it to the high level dim bright control over here dim level and uh, high level so just uh, one setting for each of those it has an ANL noise blank, uh, automatic noise liver noise blank option here, and it's uh, just on or off for both of them. It doesn't go one or the other on this radio. It seems to work very well. Did test it out on the mobile and uh, definitely cut back the noise pretty well. There's a PA CB function here, so you can switch to PA or CB. And there's a DX and local option, so it doesn't have an RF gain knob on it, but it does have a button here to go between local and DX. So if you need to come cut back on uh, a loud station or something, you can do that uh, in lieu of a RF gain button, uh, or sorry, knob. 919 uh, option here, so press it once, goes to channel 9. Again, takes you to channel 19, and a third time takes you back to your original channel. Of course, the digital meter is interesting on this one. Um, nice receive meter here. When you transmit, we can show all the bars. And a lot more increments than you get normally um, on a lot of different radios. So it's... Uh, Nice to see that it has a little bit more uh, incremental um, listing on the S meter there. A lot of radios, you know, they go to that uh, four bar or five bar only um, type meter. So it's nice to see that this has the uh, full deal going all the way up. So uh, microphone connection on this, not a standard four pin. So just be aware of that your standard four pin won't work on this. Uh, if you have an echo mic or something, you might need to rewire it. Uh, good news on the PACB function on this. You still can do the talkback. I did test it out with a talkback speaker, so uh, you should be able to do the uh, poor man's resistor uh, modification for talkback on this if you want to. And let's take a look at the microphone. I'll do a back view and a top view of the radio, give you a little idea of the size, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the output and the receive. This is the microphone that's coming with these radios, and you can see it has their uh, Bearcat logo in the grill there. Um, it's got kind of a two-tone plastic here, so it's a little slippery over here, a little bit uh, grippier matte finish over here. Kind of a trigger style. Seems like a solid engagement. It actually fits in the hand quite nicely uh, for the size, so most guys are going to like the, the fit and feel, I think, of this. Okay, so this is a top view of the radio here, and just to give you an idea on the size, as you can see, uh, definitely pretty small in terms of dimensions so it's uh, something you can pick up in one-handed there so uh, about six inch by six inch uh, 
six inches this way, just over six inches this way, a little bit longer here, closer uh, with the knobs to about six and a half, uh, a little bit longer than that. So uh, very small compact radio, it should be easy to mount and a lot of small installs where you don't have much room. All right, back of the radio. Uh, once again, these are made in China. This is your uh, antenna connector here, your PA speaker jack here, external speaker jack, and your three pin power cord connector. So this one does take the standard uh, three pin Cobra unit in type power cord. Okay, we have popped the cover on the radio and inside we're seeing surface mount technology. So very small uh, resistors, diodes in there. This should bode well for durability uh, over time. Okay, so hopefully you guys have a little better idea what this radio is all about, uh, inside and out. And uh, we did give this radio an on-air test, and receive was very good. Uh, what I would expect out of any AM radio that I have here. And uh, seemed very good in the mobile, heard some DX rolling in, no problem at all. The uh, a &L noise blank seems to work pretty well, cutting out the uh, static in the vehicle. So that was good to see. The uh, radio is going to dead key about 3 watts from the factory stock. And uh, we'll swing up to around 8 to 10 watts uh, peak. So uh, did have some good forward swing in that sense. Uh, it uh, isn't a huge swing in radio. Not going to be doing a ton of watts uh, stock from the factory. The uh, audio on the uh, receiving end from other people we got contacts with said it was very clean and clear. Uh, not super loud with stock microphone or anything, uh, much like the uh, 505 XL. Um, this radio really didn't have, uh, once again, uh, modulation pot inside, just, you know, crank it up like you would in the older style uh, unit in 68. So, not necessarily a direct replacement for those uh, looking for that unit in 68 where they can crank it and mod it. Once again, this is surface mount technology, so a little bit different type of chassis in the radio, much smaller compact radio. So uh, a lot of people are going to like this. Beginners are going to come in and uh, like these for the styling. They're going to fit in a lot of newer cars, and uh, I think that'll definitely uh, be a boost for the hobby as we get into some newer styling. The uh, meter, one thing I definitely did like was the uh, increments on the meter. And uh, once again, the compact size is very nice. So unit in uh, Bearcat 680, new radio. We're going to have the uh, 880 soon as well. That's going to be a little larger model. It's going to have some more features on it. So we're excited to see that one. And of uh, course, the new sideband radio, as soon as that comes out, we'll have a review for you on that one. So uh, unit in Bearcat 680, new radio from Uniden, 40 channel AM CB radio.